Welcome back guys, it's been a while, but today I have a candy sun package. Weird thing happened with this one. Um, so whenever your package is more than two kilograms, which is about four pounds and four ounces in weight, a candy sun will split the package up into multiple packages. Um, I got an email when they shipped this out saying that that's what happened. And I got this one in the mail and counted all the items and they all add up to my full order. So I don't know why they sent me an email saying that I have two packages on the way. We'll see if in the next few days I get another package, but I think my whole order is in this, so I'm pretty confident I won't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and film this haul. Now, like always, we have the Candy Sun flyer. And I wanna take this time to thank everyone who's been using my reference code. Um, I have been getting a small percentage in discounts um, for my orders since you guys are using that, and I highly appreciate it. It allows me to buy more than I usually would have, like buying the same stuff is what I tend to do, but now that um, I can afford to buy a little bit more, I, I'm more open to choosing stuff I've never tried. So Candy Sun always, if they can, if the weight allows it, um, put something extra in your package. They sent me what I think are cookies. I did open this package to count all the items, and in the process I cracked it. <laughs> so this is called Pandaro. Oh, there's tic-tac-toe on the other side. I will open this now. Let's see. I'm trying really hard not to crack it more than I already have. Oh no, it's really crumbled inside. That's probably my fault. This feels like a very light cookie. Oh, okay, so it's not shaped like a tic-tac-toe board. It's just a panda-shaped cookie. It tastes like a really buttery shortbread cookie. It's really good. I, it's very flavorful, actually. So that was delicious. And here are all the stuff that I bought. Now some of this are repeats. I've tried these before. You can check my other Candy Sun videos for what these taste like. They're not very spicy, even though it has this hot decoration all over the packaging. Um, but I do like them. I like the texture and the fact that they're shaped like rings. My siblings are big fans of this snack, which is kind of a flavorful puff ball. I do recommend these, so this is primarily for them, but I will be snacking on that as well. This I was really excited for. I think they might be sold out of them on their website, but this is um, those marshmallows that are filled with usually chocolate and strawberry are the two that I often see at anime conventions and even in the Asian shops in my city. Candy Sun had a lemon flavor though, and I love lemon stuff, lemon and lime, so I'm excited to try these. This is what they look like, they're just little marshmallows. So here's what the inside is, it just has a small little center of flavor. The marshmallow itself is just a standard marshmallow, sorry my camera will not focus on this, but the inside is really flavorful. Definitely tastes like lemon, like a natural lemon, not the candied lemon you often taste in candy. It's really good. It's like I'm eating lemon lime pie. So I would definitely recommend these if you can find them anywhere. The next things in this box I've already opened in past videos, so I won't be opening them now. These are Umaibos. They're essentially a giant Cheeto puff that is flavor different flavors they have a lot of flavors available on candy sun and in general this company makes a lot of variety of the snacks i think i got vegetable salad and hamburger mainly for my siblings um so there's those let's pull out oh my goodness <laughs> okay let's put this one back for now so i got a lot of these wafer cookies Mainly because these come with cards, collectible trading cards or just character cards that are like collectibles. So I got one of each or technically two <laughs> of this one. So I have a One Punch Man. I have, I think this is Fire, no, Grand Blue Fantasy and they had both a female and male version. Thankfully they sent me one of each. I got a Detective Conan and Zombieland Saga. This anime is so cute. And although these are pre-packaged and you can't really seal them back up, I will be opening each one just because I want to see what card I got. I think this one comes with a sticker, but the other ones should have cards. I will make a mess out of my table, but okay. So 
here is oh yay i got saitama oh thank goodness <laughs> he's the only one that really matters to me genos is pretty cool too um this is either a card or a sticker it looks like a sticker to me and it's holographic which is pretty cool his head is so big that's so funny and then let's look at the wafer cookie it just looks like a standard vanilla yeah, it smells like vanilla. It's really strong, very sweet. I'm not going to eat it now. I'll probably save it for later. I just really wanted to know what sticker I got, so I'm going to put this aside. The next one is this one. I'm going to cut it from the top. Oh! So I got a female one. I was hoping to get a guy since it was in the guy package, but I guess it doesn't matter what package you get. You could get either one. These are really pretty actually. It's really pretty. Twayan. Interesting name. I don't know who she is. I don't play this game, but she's really pretty and I like the card design. I like the embossment and the glitter. So that's neat. Well, now I'm very curious who I get in this female pack. I like the artwork on the front too. This is kind of like opening a card pack. I think I can get it out actually without opening the package. Oh, it's a group shot. These are a nice thickness too. They're not really flimsy or anything. Really pretty. I kind of wish I'd gotten more of these. These are really cool cards. Wow, so if you... um. If you were interested in any of these, this is the one I would recommend so far. Even if you don't like this game or aren't familiar with it, those cards are really pretty. Okay, next is Detective Conan. I think with this one you, you get a card. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I've read the descriptions. Um, let's see it. Oh, yay! <laughs> I got Conan. Kid the Phantom Thief and Conan Edogawa. So that's not Conan, that's um, a new char newer character in the series who's kind of the person that thwarts him. So this one is a sticker. Really reminds me of the stickers you could get in snacks when I was a kid. <laughs> I'm just glad I got one with Conan in it. And then we have one more. This one I believe should be a card. This is from Zombieland Saga. It's an anime about a girl who dies and is brought back to life by a guy who wants to make a zombie idol group. And it's so funny, but also really heartwarming at times. It's an anime I would highly recommend you watch. The songs in it aren't bad either. Oh, I got the main girl, Sakura Minamoto. So she's the one who ends up dying in a kind of comical way, honestly. I feel bad saying that, but it kind of was. It was a really big joke when it aired. Okay. Ooh, her card's really thick, too. So it seems like, the, for the most part, the wafers are the same. The Detective Conan one was a little thinner, and looks like it has some chocolate in between. Whereas the One Punch Man, the Grand Blue, look like they're the same kind of vanilla, really sweet smelling. And I also tried it. It's just standard sweet bread cookie kind of flavor. Zombieland Saga looks similar, but it might have some, uh, it has a hint of something else in the cookie from what I can see. But for the most part, I think it's probably the same thing as well. So there's that. I think the selling point for these is definitely the cards and stickers. But I have to say, they're really nice and I like the gimmick of putting them in crackers. So it's definitely going to be something I'm looking out for next time I shop on Candy Sun. These were fun. Okay, back to our scheduled programming. Sorry, I just just really curious about those. Usually I do the opening in the end, but <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So the next thing, I'm actually really excited for this one too. So as you might have known if you've seen my previous um, Candy Sun haul, I bought these a lot before, except they're usually strawberry or chocolate, and then there's that ultra black one that was really good. Fortunately, it's not for sale anymore, but Candy Sun had their new version, which is Puku Puku Tai Yumekawa which to me I think is just rainbow and they have two versions there's a pink and a blue from what I can see it looks like the filling is the same so I'm probably not going to open both I'll open one the blue one was the one I was curious about 
from what I remember from the product listing on Candy Sun. I think it's a berry flavor, but I don't remember. Oh, huh. <laughs> so maybe it's hit or miss what color you get. Um, cause the packaging is blue, but I got a pink one. Interesting. Oh, I see. They're, so they're double sided. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. So, okay. So I've cut it in half. You can kind of see the filling there. It's very airy chocolate. The kind that has bubbles inside. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? Um, it's either the filling or the cracker, but when you bite into it, it feels like a pixie stick just burst into your mouth. It's really interesting. I wouldn't say it's not good. It's good, but I think some I can see some people not liking it because it has a candy flavor, but you're not really eating a candy. It's so weird. I would recommend getting that just for the novelty of it. It's not bad though, and I will definitely enjoy seeing my siblings try that. Okay, next, I got some of these. This is a very popular brand in Japan. This bag was really strong, but this is what they look like. This flavor is Milky Hojicha Latte. So I'm pretty excited to try that. Oh, I think I was under the impression it was a hard candy, but it feels a little soft. So let's see. This is what it looks like feels pretty soft and then the wrapper is pretty cute oh geez <laughs> this flavor oh my goodness I'm honestly not sure if I liked that there's a creamy outer layer that's chewy on the outside but the center is definitely a hard candy so my assumption is that you're supposed to kind of just let it swirl in your mouth until that creamy layer melts and then you'll get the hard candy the outer layer seems to be a mix of cream slash vanilla and a very intense coffee flavor. At first taste, it tasted like plastic <laughs> to me. And the more you, well, the more I had it in my mouth, it didn't really change to be a strong coffee flavor. It, it still had that plastic undertaste. So I personally did not enjoy that candy. Um, I will definitely give it another try. I had to spit mine out so I could continue this video, but I will try it again later on in the day and hopefully it tastes a lot better. Um, moving on, I have these two blind bag chocolate eggs for Detective Conan. I will open that at the end of the video. Um, let's see. Oh, so these are the Gritch hazelnut chocolates, I believe. I don't think they're anything special. But I do love some hazelnut chocolate, so I figured why not? I like how they're, they're individually wrapped as well, because if I don't like something, I can either give it to my siblings or take it to work and let my coworkers have a taste. It looks pretty chewy, honestly, not like a hard candy. Now that's good. It's a darker, richer chocolate, but you can definitely taste and um, feel the texture of the hazelnuts that they put in there. So thumbs up for me. I would highly recommend that one. And then I have the normal Puku Puku Thai little chocolate wafer cookies. I'm not going to open those. Those are for my personal enjoyment. This is Sakuru Gumi apple flavor. I actually bought some of these at Dragon Con this year. Um, and the booth had on the commercial for them that went viral not too long ago. The long, long man of the woman constantly being tempted by this guy who has a long version of this candy. And then at the end, I won't spoil it, but it does this complete twist when she chooses him over her husband-to-be. And it's so funny. So this is what the smaller version looks like. So it comes in these little strings, which make it easy to tear and share with other people. Mmm. This is a very natural apple flavor. Really rich. Super good. I'd eat these in one day. <laughs> this is Pure Jelly Gummy Oriental Fruit Mix. And these are just little sour sprinkled jelly gummies. Filled with jelly. They're shaped like hearts. That's pretty cute. Mmm. <laughs> As a bit of a warning, the sour dust that these are sprinkled with is, is really sour. 
or I wouldn't say sour so much as it is bitter. It's a very strong citrus flavor. These in particular are really sweet too at the same time though. Really good. I definitely taste all the fruits that they put in there. So while you do get that strong citrus flavor at the beginning, it's evened out by the sweetness of, um, I think it looks like they put mango in here, some pineapple, and looks like other fruits. It's, it's, I would definitely recommend these. These are good. A lot of the time when I buy these, because it's one solid flavor, usually just one fruit, I get overwhelmed after one or two, but I feel like I could eat a lot of these and not get tired of it. It has a very enriched flavor. Next, I have these Kit Kats. It's always fun to try Kit Kats. These, it looks like, are the nut and cranberry ruby flavor. So I was a bit confused when I saw ruby chocolate on the listing. From what I read on Candy Son, it's a different type of chocolate. It's supposed to be a little richer. And as a bit of a warning, some of these packs, um, because there are these specific flavors, they tend to be individually wrapped in a single stick versus the standard fun size two stick Kit Kats. Oh wow, that's super purple. <laughs> I was expecting the bright pink that's on the packaging, but it's a little muted. Kind of a soft lavender, darker lavender. You can see all the ingredients on top, that's kind of cool. I wouldn't say this is bad, but there's so much going on. I'm getting whatever flavor this is. I think the raspberry, at the same time feeling those chunks in there, and the creaminess of the chocolate, it's a lot. It's not bad. But this is a Kit Kat that I would only have one of. Next is their Halloween special flavor, apple pie. Halloween break. This one's purely purple. <laughs> These are in the standard two stick Kit Kat packs. I like the little witch hat. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's a little sour at the beginning. Oh no. <laughs> so this one tastes like a candle. Oh my gosh. I don't like that. <laughs> I taste the apple pie, but not so much the flavor of it, but the smell. It's like if I went to Walmart and saw an apple pie scented candle and burned it, this is what it would taste like. I don't really like that, but I can see a lot of people enjoying it. We'll try, we'll open those gotcha balls later. The last Kit Kat bag is the hazelnut flavor. So I am two for two not really liking these Kit Kat flavors, so I have high hopes for this one. I want to be able to keep at least one fancy Kit Kat. Okay. Oh, this one's really creamy looking. Look at that. Okay. Oh my goodness. I apologize. This isn't hazelnut. It's chestnut, which explains the unique flavor. I've never tried a chestnut before. It's kind of smoky at the beginning, and then it settles down to have this creamy chest. I'm assuming it's chestnut. I have no idea, but it's a unique flavor that I've never tried before. Not bad. Kind of like having a slice of very mature cake. Um, so I don't know. These, these are some I think I would recommend. These definitely feel like gourmet flavored Kit Kats. So that was interesting. And then the last thing in this box that's not a blind bag is the Sweet Halloween. Because I did order this during Halloween, so they had a lot, of, a lot of Halloween flavored snacks or themed snacks on the site. It takes about two weeks, by the way, for this stuff to arrive, so time yourself. So it has six different Halloween themed flavors that I'm excited to try. So it did have a tear strip to go at the top, so that was my bad, ripping it down the bottom. Now I kind of messed up my little fancy cup because the bottom is just styrofoam. Okay. Wow, there's a lot in here. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I have a little pumpkin. Oh, that's adorable. Let's see. Are they all different or the same? color coded oh look at the ghost coffee nougat now i do like that that they put the flavor on the front because otherwise i have no idea what these are okay so we have pumpkin bis blood strawberry 
milk, which I'm probably not gonna like. <laughs> Bis. Um, coffee nougat and white and cookie. No idea what that's supposed to mean, but okay. That's what it looks like. It's just, yeah, it just looks like a nugget. Nougat. Oh gosh, it's really hard. <laughs> that doesn't taste like coffee. It tastes like an express espresso. <laughs> if you need something to pick you up in the morning, that's something I would eat. It's really chewy. Again, it's cold right now, so that's probably why it's so hard. If it was a little warmer, I'm sure it would be a lot softer. Not bad, though. That's good. If you like coffee flavor, real coffee flavor, for sure, that's up your alley. And this was white and cookie, which I'm assuming just means cookies and cream. That's what it looks like to me. Maybe Japan just doesn't have that same phrase. Oh, wow. There's a lot more cookie in this than the Western style of cookies and cream. Really good. If anything, I would say it's a crumbly chocolate cookie um, with white cream around it. But other than the cream, it doesn't have much of a flavor. But it's still good. I would eat another one of those. Next, we have strawberry blood. Based on the picture and the packaging, I was expecting some kind of syrup. I may have eaten it and that's why it's not up there because I, I didn't see it when I took a bite. I may have just eaten it all in one go. Other than that, the bottom is slightly a strawberry flavor. Then with this inside, it's marshmallow. So it's, it's pretty good. I don't, I tasted the strawberry at first, but the chocolate and the cream kind of overwhelm it. The strawberry flavor is definitely present though, so I still really like that. I'm going to try the Bis next because I'm really curious as to what that is. I've never heard of that. And if I have, I forgot what it is. I'm going to cut half a piece out. Oh, snap! <laughs> that one's really crunchy. I really don't know what to say about this one. It's, it's good. The chocolate is good. It's not overly sweet. Um, which was expected. This cracker in the middle, if I had to guess, when they mean bis, they're talking about a biscuit, uh, the crunchy European kind, because that's the only thing I can think of as to what that is. Some kind of biscuit that they stuck into the chocolate, and in theory that's a good idea, but the chocolate overwhelms it that it really is only there for texture. If they had any flavor in the biscuit, I don't taste it. So... I wouldn't say I would want to reach for one of these just because there's nothing there. If you want some chocolate, then go for it. But other than that, it's nothing special. And finally, pumpkin and bis. Hopefully this has an interesting flavor because I'm honestly kind of getting tired of the chocolate. Oh wow, this one's bright yellow. Okay. Hmm. There's a biscuit inside this one too. The pumpkin flavor is not strong. It just feels like I'm just eating something creamy with a crunchy center. It slowly builds up, but when it does build up, it's not very strong to begin with. So, I don't know. I don't know. If you're not a fan of pumpkin, I think this is the closest thing you could probably eat if you really want candy and this is all that's nearby. You could probably eat that. If you wanted a strong pumpkin flavor, that's not really a candy I would recommend. I said I wasn't going to like this one, but I think when they say milk, it just means milk chocolate because it's still chocolate. I was expecting just a white bar of milk chocolate or white chocolate, I mean. Oh, oh no. <laughs> It just looks like it's powdered milk on the inside. I managed to eat the whole thing because the milk flavor only really stood out one time and then it got overwhelmed by the chocolate. So overall, I wouldn't say this is the worst thing I've had, but if I know it's milk, I'm not going to reach for it. <laughs> the last few things in this package are four mystery boxes, two of which are little chocolate eggs, similar to what we have here in the United States, except these have detectives detective conan collectibles oh that's so cute and i guess a chance to win or maybe just an advertisement for a plush that they made and two gotcha balls so i'm going to open the 
Detective Conan boxes first. I can't remember if you get a sticker, a card, or some type of little figure or keychain. Little egg is cute. I'll try the chocolate once, but I'm honestly so chocolate out. If I had to guess, it, it'll taste wow. That must be from the wrapper. That's a pretty cool design though. All that tells me that is that this chocolate is not the the highest quality. Yeah. It's not bad, but it's not very flavorful. It just tastes generically sweet. And then our little oh we get a figure. <gasps> no way, it's Rachel. I'm sorry I can't remember your Japanese name. That's so cool. I hope you guys can see she's really small. Um, so she comes with her torso piece, which you attach like so, if I can get it in there. And then her base. So cute. I really, I actually really like her. She knows karate and kicks a lot of butt. She's reasonably responsible too. So there's a checklist. A lot of characters and tells you instructions on how to put her together. Now I'm kind of hoping I get um, Conan or Shinuichi I think is his Japanese name. But in the English dub he is named Jimmy which is the main character. Okay, who did I get? I see a white shirt. Oh, it's someone I don't know, unfortunately. It's, um, I think, this guy. I know he's prominent in the newer episodes, but I honestly haven't gotten that far because I primarily watch the dub. And I've been trying to catch up for years. It's just, there's so many episodes. But whenever I see Detective Conan merch being released, I do see him as part of the group. So, these figures are really nicely made, actually. It's got coffee there. Neat. So, those are the two that I got. Oh, Rachel, I wish I could have gotten your boyfriend. <laughs> Took them 900 episodes to kiss, but okay. And finally, I have this Butcher Ball. So, this looks like... These are banana charms, I believe. Oh, they're so cute. I don't remember them being this cute. And I got the really sparkly one. I was kind of hoping I'd get one with the faces because those are cute, but it looks like I got this one, this chocolate one, full of sprinkles and all kinds of stuff. So that's neat. And it is stretchy, which I like a lot. It's got so much going on. It's got jelly beans, sprinkles, heart-shaped or star-shaped candies, and it's chocolate dipped. It's really cool. And there's texture on the inside of the petals as well. That's cool. Really neat. I like it a lot. The plastic is really soft too on the outside of the peel. So cute. <laughs> okay, and the last one is from the Mini Kalita figure collection. There's five items in the set, and I believe this is a coffee maker that I wanted to use with my Nendoroids. Okay. There was a lot of coffee items you could get. I was hoping for the pot with the box, but it looks like I didn't get that. Um, but that's fine. I got this pretty neat looking vintage pot or kettle. This has a lot of detail in it actually. Unfortunately, I did not know the size would be this big. I think at most this would work with dolls, but I, I think it's too big for my Nendoroids actually. I was imagining a more remit size. This is actually pretty big. So I think it would work great with dolls, Barbies and stuff like that, or similar. 
but uh, definitely not Nendoroids or even Figmas. It's just way too big, <laughs> but they look cool. And that is it for today's Candy Sun package. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to look in the description for all the items I bought, some of which were, unfortunately will probably not be in stock since it has been a while since I purchased them. But I hope you can still find stuff that you're interested in. And remember that I always have a 5% off discount code in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.